by Clifford Dujai The indigenous people of Biafra has picked holes in the declaration of Ohai's Prasaide, Chief John Iawadu, that he would sabotage any attempt to levy another war on Igbolad in the name of agitation for Biafra Republic Iawadu, President General of Ohai's. IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary, Comrade Emma Powerful, in a reaction to the statement which Chief Wadu made while Igbo people in Lagos, on Thursday, described Wadu's position as sad. His words, we note with great sadness the public acknowledgement of Chief Wadu about his involvement and that of his organization in the unpatriotic effort to destroy the work of IPOB thereby perpetuating the misery of Biafras in the unworkable Lugadia contraption called Egeria. It is equally baffling to the global family of Ipobe, especially those of Igbo extraction, why a highly educated and respected leader of Ohiz Digbo will publicly equate the demand for a referendum as a call for war. What this demonstrates is that Ohiz Digbo unlike Afifari may have fallen victim to the Ministry of Information-sponsored propaganda and smear campaign that a demand for Biafra equals a demand for war. If that is the case, it is very unfortunate indeed coming from a supposedly enlightened people. A call for referendum is never a call for war. Those opposed to the idea of genuine freedom for Biafra were the people that brought war to Biafra lad through Operation Python Dance not Ipobe. From every indication, Chief Wadu has confirmed that he was one of those that sanctioned the use of lethal force against unarmed, peaceful Ipobe family members gathered at Cow's residence on the 11th and 14th of September 2017. The likes of Ohai's Digbo should be defending the interest of movements like IPOPE fighting for the survival of all oppressed people within Nigeria, instead of conniving with the oppressor to unleash mayhem and death on their own. Chief Wadu's open acknowledgement during his speech at the National Stadium Suarulari that he would sabotage Biafra again is a demonstration of highest level of cowardice which our oppressors will read as a sign of weakness at the heart of Igbo leadership. What he has succeeded in doing is to embolden House of Fulani into believing that Igbos are their slaves. Such uncharacteristic display of impotent leadership in the face of political, economic and social emasculation of an entire race by this present regime of Bahari, should not be associated with anybody claiming to be the leader of Di Igbo. Our promise to Chief Wadu and his cohorts within and outside Ohi's Digbo is this. Not they or anybody else can stop or quench what is about to come in the name of Biafra. Our project is divine, our leadership fanatical, no man born of a woman can stop the restoration of Biafra.